Do you have a minute? Look, Auntie, it's just... Uh, I've been having a really hard time here and I'm, I'm so sorry that I've been taking it out on everyone. Thank you. I've been having quite a hard time myself, actually. Do you have another coffee? Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, Dr Valentine. Dr Sticky. Catching up on some study, I see. Uh, yeah. Anything I can help you with? If someone gets cervical cancer, do they absolutely have to die? Well, that is a complex one. In short, it can be treated. Chemo and radiotherapy, right? And surgery. Dependent on whether it's localised or a metastasis and any other coexisting conditions. Right. Uh, school project, is it? Yeah. We all had to pick a disease and I picked this one. And all the way out and cough. <coughs> Breathing feel easier? You might be a murderer. You're a good doctor. Thanks. But I promise I'm not a murderer. Well, good luck with the court case, mate. Are you sure I couldn't check those records? Finding that guy with the kid could change everything for me. If I step out of line, your son could throw me out. What do you say, Olga? Oh, I say all right. Brilliant. I can pick your brains about my tummy while you're looking. Yeah. Here we go. Knock yourself out. Did you pick up those notes? Yes, uh, the other Dr. Valentine was very helpful. Hmm. What other Dr. Valentine? Your daughter. My daughter was in my exam room. Yes, she was gathering material for her project on cervical cancer for school. Yeah, her project. Well, that's what she said anyway. Thanks, Dickie. Adhesions, me doctor reckoned. Bits of me bowel stuck to other bits of me bowel. Anyway, that was another rop. Oh, I hate those anaesthetics. I vomit like a fire hose on full bore. No luck, love. Well, nothing from Unit 26. There you go. You must have got it wrong. Yeah, these are from October. They're in the wrong box. Well, late October, yeah. Ugh. I just stick him in with whatever month I'm doing the accounts. Oi! Careful! You're not with the police, you know. Oh, hope we don't have to have the cops through here again. It's bad for business. Although there was this one young constable. I wouldn't have minded him frisking me for a concealed weapon, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Fourteen. Anyway, they did my adhesions. Oh, you should see the scar. It's from here to whoopsie. Have a look. Yes. Oh, you found it. Mr and Mrs LeConte and baby Michelle. Olga, you've just given an innocent man new hope. Thank you. Anything interesting? And this would be the big girl's book of cancer. It's for a school project. No, it's not. You've been looking up stuff on Daniel Withers' condition. Because you went to visit her again. After I told you not. Sweetie, I told you not to visit Daniel again for very good reasons. I'm angry that you disobeyed me. She is too ill to have to make a new friendship, no matter how well intentioned. But she thinks there's no hope, and there is. I looked it up. If you read it properly, that book will tell you that at her stage of cancer, the only treatment is palliative. But look, I got on the net and there's heaps of stuff they can do. Diets, meditation, colour therapy, new drugs. Oh, sweetie, where do I start? Look, some of this stuff is just wishing for a magical cure. Yeah, OK, there are researchers out there that are working really hard, but right now, there's nothing more we can do to help Daniel. I'd be lying if I told you otherwise. So she's 
gonna die. Soon. I'm afraid so. You're not Scarlet. I'm not, I'm okay. Lee, mate. I went back to the motel. Look what I found. I've got a lecture to get you back to. Look. The Lacon family in the unit next to ours. They had a baby. So? Well, I talked to him, remember? I said that babies always cry worse after midnight. It was after midnight. So you can get him to be your alibi. You won't need me. I can't. They were French tourists. They're back in France. No contact address. I haven't got a hope of finding them. That's too bad. Look, they can't help me, but you can. Now that you know I'm telling the truth. What do I really know? Apart from the fact that you went to Jeff's flat when I was asleep. Why'd you have to tell me that? Well, I wasn't going to lie to you. And I'm not lying to you about this. You have to change your statement. I can't. It'd be perjury. But you know I couldn't have done it. Why would I make up some story about a baby crying? You must have heard it. I didn't. And I didn't see the clock. And I don't know what time you came back. And I didn't know what you were doing before that. Don't play games with me, please, Lee, mate. Look, all you have to do is remember the time. You saw the clock at I the didn't. Do you want me in jail? And do you want me to tell the police what I do remember? Hmm? The mood you were in, the way you were behaving? It's like you couldn't wait to get me out of there. It was as if your life depended on it. You wouldn't. Just leave me alone. Look, what kind of sick bitch are you, eh? Hey, 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 hey hold hey, it. Get off me. Careful, Victor. You're not looking very innocent to me. Just back off and calm down. 